Hey guys, it's your girl Miss G and you know what time it is. It's G time. It's time to get up, get active, and get it together. My purpose is to give advice, encourage change, and empower success. The goal is for us to grow, elevate, and excel. Everyday action is required for change and you and I have the power to create change. I am here with you guys. I'm just checking in. I have been so, so inspired with Women History Month, and I have been having so much fun interviewing different women, getting to know more about them, about more about what they do, and really sharing it with others. Um, I have two more, I think three more videos that I'll be sharing with you guys before the end of the month. So stay tuned, um, like, share, subscribe, comment, do all of those things. As I get ready to, as Women Women's Month is ending, I wanna just say, how honored I am as a woman to be to have this platform and to be able to to talk to other women and to be able to share them but I also want to just talk about what it means to be a woman you know for so long I think I put women I put women in a box you know uh, learning how to be a woman was it was difficult for me it, it wasn't something that I was just like I'm good at I got this I know what I'm doing no you know, I became a mother at 20 years old, and it was not easy. It was hard. I became, I said 20, I was 19. I became a wife at 20. Oh, yes. All of these things at once, they hit me hard. And I, I'm going to tell you, I'm going to be real with you. I had no idea what I was doing. I didn't know nothing, okay? Now, granted, I have a wonderful mother who has taught me so many things. However, until you get into those positions, until you understand the job at hand, let me tell you, you don't understand until you understand. And so being a woman to me was, it was difficult at first because I was trying to be so many things and, and trying to be only certain things at the same time. I wanted to be a good wife. I wanted to be a good mother. And trying to figure out who I was and how to make that possible along with being a, a, a great woman was very difficult. And so over time, I have surrounded myself with women who I inspire to be like. I surrounded myself with women who I look up to, women who can mentor me into the position that I want to be in. And it has been great. The journey has been great. But you know what? None of those women were the same. They were all different and they all carried with them so many different talents and gifts. And yet they were still beautiful, working, hardworking women. And I think that's what it, 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 that's what it means to be a woman, right? There's not... You can't put a woman in a box. You know, uh, women are so diverse and we are just so um, uh, complex too, you know. Women, women are great. And so I believe that when we say, you know, what does it mean to be a woman or how can you describe being a woman? I, I think it's, it, it's such a broad topic being a woman again we're so special we're helpers we're, we're we're wives we're mothers we're entrepreneurs we're workers we're daughters we're, we're 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 nieces all of these roles and all of these hats that we wear there's we can wear them each so proudly and, and be different at the same time and so i think it's just great that at this time in my life i'm able to talk to different women and share with you what they're doing as well as gain more information on you know what it means to them to be a woman and the essence of being a woman and and really take that in you know my husband always says right you know women we're different and he I have I have different girlfriends that I talk to and sometimes I'll be like, oh yeah, me and so and so we were talking about X, Y, and Z. And he'll look at me and he'll say, only women. And I'm like, what do you mean only women? He's like, only women can get away with talking about the stuff that y'all talk about. We could be talking about parenting, we could be talking about nursing, we could be talking about um menstrual cycles we can be talking about putting our businesses together we can just simply be saying like oh my god your shoes are so cute we don't even have to know each other 
I don't know how many times I have been out at a restaurant or been out in the community and seen somebody with like the cutest shoes on and just be like, oh my God, I love your shoes. That's what we do, right? That's what we do as women. And my husband will always say like, you don't see a man doing that. You do not see a man like, oh my God, I love your beard. <laughs> and I'm like, why not? <laughs> you should do it. He looks at me like, absolutely not. I believe that as women, you know, without shade and without hate, I know that they show us a lot on TV just being spiteful, hateful, vindictive, messy, drama-filled people, but that's not all women. And we have so much more to offer than just the um, description and, and the display of the women that they show on, you know, some of these TV shows. They're, you know... One of my favorite shows is The Real Housewives of Everything, right? Um, or Married to Medicine. I really like Married to Medicine because I, I see so many boss women in positions of, of being a doctor and a wife. And they'll have their own programs and own things going on. Um, but what I what I don't like about some of the shows is the conflict that they show amongst women, right? As though we don't have communication skills. As though we can't talk to one another and... Um, talk about what's bothering us or you know confront one another in love that we only have to fight and call each other names that is not all what women is about there's so much more to women and I believe that women like me women like the women that I know it's important and it's our job to show our young girls and the kids growing up in the next generation that you don't have to be like this in order to be successful, that we can still be kind, that we can still be nice, that we can still walk up to each other and be like, oh my God, girl, I love your hair. Oh, where'd you get that from? And not have to shade and hate one another. Being a woman is so beautiful, especially when we just um, embrace who we are as people. When we really... Um, when we're not trying to define who we are, when we're not trying to label who we are, we're not trying to put ourselves in a box, but we're really just saying, you know, this is who I am. And this is what I love. You know, my cousin said in the last interview, we need to understand that we can have it all. We can have it all, right? There, there, don't, don't label yourself and don't dismiss yourself. Don't disqualify yourself. Know that you are the pride and that's how I feel like I have learned as a, a woman over these years to, to know that I am a prize that I am the prize and I don't have to um, lower my standards I don't have to uh, put myself out there in a way that is um, distasteful that I am the prize and because I am the prize that I hold myself to a standard you know there are many scriptures that that from the Bible that that describe a woman and one of the things, one of the scriptures that I go to all the time is that I am fearfully and wonderfully made. And I love that scripture because I remind myself every day I feel good, even when I'm feeling down in my spirit, when it, when it feels like the enemy is attacking me from left to right, that I am fearfully and wonderfully made. It says, um, an excellent wife who can find, she is far more precious than jewels. And that's in Proverbs 31. I am. I am far more precious than jewels. I am. I am priceless. That you can't just buy one of me. And I think that as women, we should we should be saying that about ourselves. You can't just buy one of me. I am unique. I am. I am fearfully and wonderfully made. You can't find just me anywhere. You, uh, you know. And so often you'll see that. There's so many people who want to look like one person instead of just being themselves. There's a quote that says, in a world full of, I believe it's like, uh, copies, be yourself. I, I, there's no carbon copy, right? I, I don't want to be that person. I want to be me. Be you. Be yourself. Be beautiful the way that you are. I, again, I'm enjoying Women's Month. I hope that you are enjoying it too. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And continue to listen to the podcast and the YouTube channel. All right? So, I just wanted to give you a little bit on being a woman. And tell you to keep bossing up the way that you are. You are bad all by yourself. Have a blessed day. Work on a Wednesday.